Hello guys, and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery with the awesome me, Matthew Smith, and welcome back to my channel. In this uh, episode of my um, trips around Europe, you'll be seeing me departing from London south of Brian there, uh, flying into Toulouse, and um, a bit of the way landing at Toulouse after um, the weather on the ground, but after landing at Toulouse, um, I shall be waiting for a coach that takes me into the small landlocked country of Andorra, and uh, you'll see around Andorra, uh, so beautiful with all the mountains, we went through snow um, to get into Andorra, and then from there I'll be getting a coach uh, three hours from there into Barcelona, uh, and then from Barcelona the Metro to Al Prat Airport, uh, and then from there getting a Ryanair flight back to London Sasser where it all begun. I do hope you enjoy seeing my film uh, today, and um, I certainly will enjoy sharing it to you guys, um, and now let's pass on to some facts about Toulouse, Andorra, and Barcelona. Hopefully some facts you may not have heard of before, but something might have. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's hear some facts, and I shall join you at the end for some costing details. Let's get into it, shall we? Toulouse is the capital of France's southern Occitanie region, and sits near the Spanish border. With a population of over 479,000, this makes Toulouse the fourth largest city in France after Paris, Marseille and Lyon. Toulouse is known as the Pink City because of the colour of its buildings. The buildings are mainly made with very pale coloured bricks and it becomes particularly pink at sunset, hence the name. Toulouse is the European centre for aerospace this is the most important feature of the city. In Toulouse you'll find the headquarters of Airbus, which is the European aerospace leader. On top of this there is also an aerospace valley, Toulouse Space Centre and the Spot Satellite System. It is also home to one of the oldest universities in Europe. The University of Toulouse was founded in 1229 and is one of the most prestigious universities in Europe and is known for its excellence in education and research. The capital de Toulouse is a must-visit landmark. The city's grand city hall is renowned for its stunning neoclassical facade and beautiful interiors. Enjoying mild winters and hot summers, Toulouse benefits from a pleasant Mediterranean climate that attracts visitors year-round. Now on to Andorra. Because Andorra is a tiny country, I will be focusing on the entire country for these facts. Andorra is a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. It is known for its ski resorts and a tax haven status that encourages duty-free shopping. The capital, Andorra La Fella, has boutiques and jewelers on Meritzel Avenue and several shopping centres. Life expectancy in Andorra is the fifth highest in the world. More than 90% of the country is made up of mountains, forests, rivers, lakes and meadows. Only about 4% of the territory has actually been built on. One of the most more interesting facts is you can actually walk the entire country on foot without setting foot on tarmac thanks to over 100 mountain trails. Andorra is one of the very few countries in the world where 10% of the country has been declared World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. They are the only country in the world to have Catalan as an official language. The proximity to France and Spain has also meant people of Andorra speak Spanish and French fluently as well. One of the most surprising facts is that the country has never had an army or ministry for defence. Instead, and only in exceptional circumstances, a centuries-old tradition means the summoning of the Somitant, a popular militia formed by the heads of all the Andorran households between the ages of 21 and 60. Now let's get into Spain. Barcelona is a city on the northeastern coast of Spain and it's also the capital and largest city of the autonomous community of Catalonia. Drivers in Barcelona are considered the worst in the world, with accidents occurring in the city every 19 seconds. This could go up to every 10 seconds at weekends, which makes it safer to walk than drive. 
Although Barcelona is located in Spain, it is the capital of Catalonia and as such has two official languages, which are Spanish and Catalan. There are over 20 Michelin starred restaurants in Barcelona alone. We have Barcelona to thank for World Book Day. On April the 23rd, Catalans pay tribute to the patron saint of Catalonia, Saint George. On the day, it is tradition for couples, lovers and friends to exchange books and roses. UNESCO liked the idea so much that they declared the day World Book Day and Copyright Day in 1995. Finally, Barcelona is home to the largest football stadium in Europe. FC Barcelona is one of the most celebrated football clubs in the world and also plays in the biggest stadium in Europe. Camp Nou has a capacity for almost 100,000 and is definitely something to visit and experience. It holds a museum and you can even take a guided tour to see the stadium through the eyes of the players and fans. And hello guys and welcome to another video on Destination Discovery. I'm currently just arrived at Stansted. It's currently 20 past 4 in the morning. And today I'm off for a bit of an adventure. So I'm at Stansted. Um, I'll be flying with Ryanair uh, to Toulouse. So Toulouse is in southern France. It's about an hour and a half flight thereabouts, depending on obviously weather and so forth. Uh, and then once I'm in Toulouse, I'll be getting a three and a half hour coach journey from there into Andorra. Andorra is the it's a city, but also the a country. Um, it's so small, the city is named after the country basically, uh, and it is a landlocked country between France and Spain. And then once I've got to Andorra, I'll have about an hour and a half to explore Andorra, show you bits and pieces. And then I'll be off on a, another coach, about a three hour coach journey this time, to Barcelona in Spain, on the coast of Spain. Uh, and then from there, to Barcelona Airport to get the Ryanair back to where I am now, Stats at Airport. Can't wait to share this with you, and I shall join you after security. <laughs> guys so it's not too bad i was through security in about five minutes uh, so i'm now at, uh, behind security now it's that so it's about 4 35 my flight departs at 20 past six this morning so i've got about an hour and 50 minutes so i think i might enjoy it as usual you should know this by now my full english at weatherspoons so uh, like i say my flight 20 past six in the morning will take me to toulouse in southern france uh, you would imagine southern france would be hot but current temperature out there is one degree uh, and i shall get back to you once i land in toulouse i shall enjoy my time here at Stansted, my full english breakfast and i'll speak to you later on <laughs> From southern France, I'm currently in Toulouse. Um, we arrived about 10 minutes late. Um, we were held just outside the airport uh, due to the weather here. It is very foggy, um, so we circled for a bit. But hey, I'm now in France. Um, so I've got about 45 minutes now for my coach. 
Appliance by um, operated by Andbus, uh, which is an Andorran operator. Uh, three and a half hours from here to Andorra La Fella, uh, which is the centre of Andorra. Um, yeah, and then once I'm there, I'll get back to you. You share your love so easily Still I'm insecure I hear all the things you don't say So I can be sure But here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend Yeah, here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend Hello guys from Andorra La Fella uh, in Andorra. Uh, I'm in the main uh, city centre area here. Um, quite a nice three hour, well, for about three hour fifteen, we've arrived about fifteen minutes early. Nice three hour fifteen minute coach ride there from Toulouse. Um, yeah, it was, um, saw a lot of snow in the mountains, very picturesque indeed. Um, and yeah, uh, so I've got about an hour and a half here in uh, Andorra before I get bus to Barcelona on the coast in Spain. Um, and that is with Direct Bus, which is a Spanish coach operator. Um, but first, I need to get my di- dinner. It's lunchtime here, or quarter past one, and I'll join you later on. When we wake. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Every day, and 
I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Back at the central bus station here in Andorra, the main bus station, I waited in my direct bus uh, company, a uh, Spanish operator, to Barcelona. It's a three hour journey from here to Barcelona. Um, and see what that's like. It's a bus company I've not used before, just like the previously. Uh, so I'll see what that's like too. Um, Alright, so I've got about half an hour, it's 2.45, my coach departs at 3.15. I shall join you when I am in the hopefully sunny Barcelona. I'm now in Spain. Uh, I've just arrived at Barcelona Sant uh, train station, which is where the main coach terminal is in the city. So from here, I'm going to go inside the train station to go on a quick train journey uh, towards the airport shuttle bus, uh, which will take me to Barcelona airport. Uh, and it's about an hour and a bit from here to the airport. So. Uh, yeah, it was quite a nice uh, coach ride, three hours, uh, charging port, so I charged my phone now. Uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you at the airport. Hola from Barcelona Al Prat Airport. I'm currently in Terminal 2, uh, which is where my flight departs from this evening. Uh, it, what's the time now? So the time is currently all 7.38. So my flight departs at 9.55, so I've got about 2 hours 20 minutes here at Barcelona Airport to explore. Um, there's McDonald's, or there's massive advertising for it, so I might have my McDonald's dinner here. Uh, and then I shall be on my flight at 9.55. I hope you enjoyed seeing my video today, and I shall join you later on. Again, hola from Barcelona Airport after security. Uh, I've been through security, I've had my McDonald's, I'm fully uh, ready for the plane ride back to London, Sunset. Currently an hour late, uh, unfortunately. So it was due at 9.55, now it's due to part 10.55. Uh, so it looks like I'll be running in Stansted after midnight now. Uh, but nevertheless, <coughs> I've had a good journey uh, around uh, from far southern France all the way through um, into Spain and it's been good um, I can't wait to get home now because I've got work tomorrow so I need my beauty sleep after all uh, and yeah I'll get back to you when I get to London Stansted
So let's see how much this awesome trip costed me. Whilst at Stansted Airport, my breakfast came to £16.65, or translated into euros, €19.45. Now, the flight from London to Toulouse, booked direct with Ryanair, came to a total of £15.28, or €17.85. The drink I bought at Toulouse Airport was one euros and eighty cents or one pound and fifty four pence. The coach from Toulouse Airport to Andorra, booked directly with the bus company and bus, came to a total of thirty two euros and forty cents or twenty seven pounds and seventy two pence. Food and drink whilst in Andorra costed me €31.15 or £26.65. The coach from Andorra to the centre of Barcelona but direct with, with the bus company Direct Bus costed me €28.50 or £24.38. The metro from Barcelona Centre to the airport came to four euros and sixty cents or three pounds and ninety four pence. Food and drink whilst in Barcelona costed me seventeen euros and sixty six cents or fifteen pounds and eleven pence. Finally, the flight from Barcelona back to London, booked through eDreams, came to £45.97 or €53.70. So, the grand total of this epic trip came to £177.24, or in euros, that is €207.11. I hope you enjoyed seeing my video. Uh, it wasn't that bad price-wise uh, in my view. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button to stay up to date with videos. Until next time, happy travellings and good night. Mm -hmm.